Have you ever wanted to export your PowerPoint presentation slides as images? Well, it's actually pretty easy. You go to File, Save As, choose a location on your computer, and change the file type to that of a picture file such as JPEG. However, there's a slight issue when you do this. By default, exported images are saved as 96 DPI resolution. In other words, 96 dots per inch. This value is generally considered a low resolution, meaning your images will lack detail. The good news is that there is actually a way to export high resolution images from PowerPoint as standard. And here's how. Make sure you close PowerPoint before you start. Then go to the start menu and search for the application called Run. You will see this appear as a little window. Enter RegEdit into the search bar and press OK. The next thing you need to do is to locate the registry subkeys. And now this sounds pretty scary, but don't worry, it's actually rather easy. The location of the subkeys will vary depending on the version of PowerPoint you are using. I'm using Microsoft 365, so I must go to this location. If you're using a different version to me, then go to these locations. So within the options folder, you want to right click in the folder and select new, and then select a D word value. Call this export bitmap resolution and note there are no spaces. Next, right click on this new D word entry and select modify. You want to ensure the base type is decimal. And this is where the magic happens. The number you enter here will represent the new DPI or dots per inch value. Higher the number, the higher the DPI, and ultimately the higher the resolution. Remember the default value here is 96 DPI. However, we're gonna bump this up to 300 DPI to ensure we get a high resolution image output. Once entered, we can close all of the windows and boot up PowerPoint. All you have to do is export your slides as an image file type as we did earlier. You will then see in the file properties that this image is now 300 DPI. In other words, a high resolution image. And there we go. I hope that helped you out. And did you know that PowerPoint has a background removal tool to remove unwanted areas from images? Now check out this video next, where I'll show you two different ways on how you can do this. And with that, I'll see you in the next one.